I want to take a moment in this beautiful morning to talk about the problems with hyperpositivity or toxic positivity. Especially in Western American culture, we very much have this chasing happiness um, part of our culture where we are trying to be happy all the time, we are trying to be joyful, and not, not that that's bad or unhealthy pursuits, um, but sometimes it's at the cost of being present with just other emotions. Here's the thing with emotions, there, there's no good or bad emotions. Now what we do with those emotions can be productive or unproductive, but there's no good or bad emotions. And, and so while positivity can be a really powerful perspective some of the times, it's not the only perspective and it doesn't work all of the times. In fact, sometimes when we can try to put ourselves or put someone else in a more positive perspective, so to speak, we can actually come off quite dismissive right? If somebody comes to you and they're really struggling with something and they're saying, man, this is really hard and I'm struggling with this and, and this and this and this happened and they're met with, well, you know what? Just look on the bright side of life, right? Or just consider you could have it worse or right? insert whatever positive platitudes we've heard. It's dismissing the reality of what they're feeling right now. And, and what we know from um, work, all of the research around emotional processing is that when we can actually be present with our emotions, when we can move through them, we actually tend to get on the other side faster and we tend to build a different type of resilience and, uh, and have a much more productive place than if we tried to choke them down. You know, there was, I read an article and I forget the person's name, but there was a psychologist who said that positivity is like ice cream. It's really good some, it's good sometimes. Sometimes you want ice cream, sometimes you need ice cream. But if somebody is ramming it down your throat over and over and over again, then we don't need the ice cream. So if you are somebody like me, who sometimes always wants to see the like bright side, the, <laughs> the shining light, right? The silver lining. Next time that you are struggling or next time someone else is struggling, help them to be present with it and just acknowledge a name and say to them, you know, I can see how hard this is for you. I can tell you're struggling with this. How can I support you? What would be helpful right now? Um, Any times that uh, somebody is navigating a challenging situation, I like to think of my perspective not as a prescription, but an invitation. Would it be helpful if I shared how I'm viewing the situation right now? And then let them decide. So, it's not that positivity is a bad thing, but we have to remember it isn't the only thing.